What's going on you guys, TWX27 in the house, my house. So today I want to do a quick movie review of uh, Aquaman. I watched it a couple of days ago and um, here's my thought of it. So uh, Aquaman, it wasn't bad, it wasn't a, uh, yeah, it, like the thing is I don't really know how to feel about this movie, I just thought it was good, like it was just uh, an average kind of movie, like definitely better than Justice League which was trash last year. Absolutely trash. Like, what happened? Oh, oh, sorry, spoiler alert. I mean, in the ending, it, like, in Justice League, it just ended up with Superman defeating the guy and doing everything. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> they may as well have just called it Man of Steel 2. Or 3. I don't know, I, I don't really watch Superman. Or DC that much, for that matter. I only watch Marvel. I'm a Marvel guy. Like, it's pretty obvious that uh, I am, judging from all the videos that I've made of Marvel stuff. Yeah. Think heavily of Marvel, Marvel, you know. <sighs> Rest in peace, Stanley. Anyway, back to Aquaman. Um, yeah, it was okay. The basis of the story was this guy, uh, Arthur Curry. <laughs> it's a pretty weird name. Like, not the name Arthur, like, the last name Curry. Like, Arthur Curry. Like, <laughs> I don't know, it's, I don't know, it, it's weird. So basically, he lives two worlds. Uh, I don't know, is he a merman? sea creature look whatever he is he's part that and human and uh his mother had to go away because it was forbidden for like sea creatures to be with the land people so yeah and then he goes on on a quest with this uh red haired chick she's really hot by the way just putting that out there um crip i forgot her name nah it's fine i'll, I'll find out later anyway arthur and that chick go on an adventure to basically find the golden triton to like so he can use it to defeat the blonde guy i forgot his name. jesus why am i so bad with names now like i used to be so good with names but now these names are just leaving my head anyway so that blonde hair guy is actually his half brother so he has to defeat him in order to proclaim the throne to be honest i kind of like saw that coming because i knew the movie would hit that direction I might have mentioned it in the trailer as well i don't know anyway aquaman good movie i give it a 7.5 i mean that's pretty okay for dc standards because i don't know i feel like dc has been slipping a bit then there came aquaman and shazam which is coming out next year when I'm gonna watch Shazam just to see how it is. Even though I'm watching DC, Marvel would always be number one for me. Yep, it's just how it is for me. There are a lot of funny scenes in Aquaman. I really enjoy the funny scenes. Like, especially that scene when he was like, like when they were showing him like the Triton, he was like, yeah, I already got one of those. <laughs> that was hilarious. And another time when he said, whoa, this place is badass. I don't know, there were other funny moments, but I can't remember them right now. Wow, DC managed to Man, funny enough, I enjoyed the Aquaman movie than Aquaman in the comics because, I mean, let's be honest, Aquaman sucks. He does. But in the movie, he didn't suck. He was pretty good. I have to be honest about the CGI of that movie. The CGI was so heavy, so obvious, it... I don't know, it was just a bit too much for me. Like, you know, obviously it's fake, but like, you can easily see the CGI standing out like, the thing with Marvel, like, their CGI doesn't stand out as much until, like, someone breaks it down. Like, when I found out that Marvel almost uses, like, everything in their, like, for CGI, I was a bit shocked because I thought it was, like, an actual set, but the majority of it is CGI. That is amazing because it looks so real. Like, holy moly. But the CGI in Aquaman, like, I don't know. I, I guess it was okay. Like, it was, it was just a bit... It just stood out so much, it was annoying. They used so much CGI, it was so heavy. So much heavy ass CGI, god damn. Anyway, that was just my quick movie review of Aquaman. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, and by the way people, New Year is coming, so be prepared. We have to get ready for 2019, the crossover to the next year. The next year of epicness. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to comment below what you all thought of Aquaman if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, just check it out. G give the film a chance. I think there's probably going to be an Aquaman 2 because I saw the end credits. Yep. DC is copying Marvel, putting in end credits. I swear Marvel has just created 
an era where people actually sit and watch the credits. It's amazing. Like I've to- I've gone to cinemas where it's not even a Marvel movie and people still wait for the end credits, and I'm just like, wow, just wow. But right now, I only sit down and wait for end credits on Marvel and DC. Yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you all thought of Aquaman if you saw it. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.